Uh, my name's Chaz Moulton, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Rodeo Training Center, 31 years old. Now I believe my professional record is 8-6. Uh, uh, I'm going to try and make it a little bit better this Saturday at the uh, K1 event. I've been training for a couple months now, you know, kind of eased into it. I had about a month off uh, after Thailand. Uh, I was just completely burnt out after I got back from that. And said I was going to take like six months off and then turn out that way. You know, started coming in, hitting the Kong, um, going out to California, uh, training with the Can't Stop Crazy Crew, did a seminar and stuff like that. You know, just uh, got off with the 5K1. Sounded like something really fun to do with my fights because I want to take fights that are, you know, that are fun, you know, and um, you know, pay a little bit. So I uh, decided to take it for like a couple months now. Uh, it's Wednesday, fights on Saturday, so we've got about three days left. Uh, two and a half, I guess. It's actually been the best weight cut I've ever had. Uh, right now, I'm probably about four or five pounds out. Um, all these years of, you know, waiting until a couple days before, cutting 15 to 20 pounds, uh, finally started listening to my girlfriend and, uh, you know, eating the diet that she put me on, and, uh, you know, the weight came off. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that this time. Out here in LA with uh, my boy Joe, um, you know, and the Can't Stop Crazy crew, we're at the yard. Uh, it's been, you know, cool enough and hospitable enough to let me come in and use this facility and hold some pads for me and uh, help me get ready. You know, there's not a lot of video of Kit. There's no video of Kit uh, that I have of him fighting except for that thing he did on MTV and. Um, the way that they cut it, you can't get an idea of how he really fights from that. Um, you know, MMA, he's got MMA fights that you can watch, but again, you can't get an idea of someone stand up to an MMA fight. It's completely different. So, um, yeah, I really don't know shit other than just <laughs> what, I, uh, what I experienced far with him one time. Uh, that's, that's all I know as far as his stand up style. He's a dangerous guy, you know, I mean, he's fast. Um, uh, He's quick, he's tricky, you know, if you give him time to set up, he'll, he'll thump on you, you know what I mean? It, as much shit as he talks, you know, don't, don't be mistaken, like, he's good. I think I can definitely beat Kit, you know, I have in my mind, like, going, uh, going to, but, you know, people think it's just going to be a walkthrough, but uh, I just want to say you, you can't completely count the guy out, you know, he's still a dangerous guy, this is, you know, what I'm trying to say. Comic Pause been trying to fix um, a lot of the flaws that I have, uh, you know, especially things that I do when I get tired. Um, you know, help me with my movement and, and, and controlling um, controlling what I'm doing with my strikes, so I don't uh, I'm not trying to kill people with every you know every punch or every kick. You know, um, he's, he's teaching me to be smarter. Right. Um, so that's that's what we've been going over a lot. Um, a lot more speed and. and you know, in and out, things like that. Things, things that I've never done. So you know, it's it's good. It's, it's helped me, and it's just helped me evolve my game more. I think when everyone starts out with the sport, they have dreams of fighting on these big shows that you know they've seen uh, Alistair Overeem, and you know, for me when I started out with Cal, I was a huge Cal fan. Um, so you know, fighting on the K1 show where 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 my heroes and you know are fought at. Fighting on shows like Thai Fight and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's really cool, man. You know, not many people, especially people from America, can say that. Um, it's, it's hard to believe at times, you know what I mean? That, you know, I started this a little over six years ago and, uh, you know, watching all these videos of, of these guys just destroying other people and, you know, like, man, how awesome would it be to, you know, be on a show like that and, to actually be here now and doing it is um, it's it's cool, man. It feels like an accomplishment for for me, a guy who hasn't really accomplished too many positive things in my life other than fighting. Like you know, this is this is this is something that's mine that I can always you know take with me and that, that I can be proud of and that my family can be proud of, my friends can be proud of. So it's it's a big deal, I man. Like how many people go through life and just you know, just kind of keep their head down and that's all they do is they just go through life. They never find their niche or something that they're good at, you know, or do something that they love. And, you know, I was lucky enough to, um, to fall into something that I love and that I'm good at and that people appreciate me for. So, um, 
I feel I feel like that's kind of like the meaning of, of life, you know. I feel like that's that's what you should strive for, and, and and I feel like it's really hard to find, you know. So for me to fall into it the way that I did is, you know, it's awesome. Man. It's really cool. I, I believe the name brand is, is is really taken off. People are really interested in it. You know, I constantly get hit up on the internet about you know just about can't stop crazy about our products about what's going on with the guys because people want to know because I, I believe that everybody involved with it you know from from the guys that are reporting on it to the guys that are fighting for it are the best at what they do in america um that's that's what i think what i think can't stop crazy you know um, we're, we're a support system for each other and we just want to get our names out there and let it be known and, and let it be known not just here in the states but you know to the world you know um, we all want to be associated with one another and that's, that's what we're trying to do thank you to everyone that's you know not only supporting me but uh supporting our brand can't stop crazy and, and all the fighters um you know it, it means a lot for you guys to come out to the shows and support us appreciate us and you know uh be there for us even when we have losses and we're down uh, just as much as when we have wins and we're up. So, you know, thank you everybody for, for all the people.